In this video, we're going to attempt to determine which of these graphs are graphs of functions. A function has exactly one output for every input. And on graphs, we often think about the x-axis as the inputs and the y-axis as the output. This means for any x value on the graph, there can be only one y value on the graph that corresponds with it. A quick way to test this is to draw a vertical line through the graph. What we're looking for is we want to know is does this vertical line cross the graph in exactly one place or more than one place? If it crosses the graph at exactly one point all the way down the line, then we know we have a function. This first graph is a function. Notice that vertical line is only crossing the graph at one point as it goes up and down the graph. However, the second graph, notice this vertical line is crossing the graph at two separate points. This means we have two outputs for a given input, which is not allowed to happen with a graph. Because the line crosses twice, we say no, the second graph is not a function. Let's take the line over to the third graph. Notice the vertical line is only crossing this graph once, or zero times, but zero's okay as long as we don't go more than once. Only once, all the way across this graph, will the orange line cross the blue line. Because it only crosses the graph once, no matter where we draw the line, we say yes, this is the graph of a function. The quick way we test to see if a graph is a function is we draw a vertical line and ask, does this vertical line cross the graph more than once? If it crosses more than once, it is not a function.